Fights. That's right. Graham. I'm Alex. And we're here today to discuss something really cool mm -hmm. and fascinating. Something that will boggle your minds. This guy. <laughs> My mind, it is boggled. Ah! So, uh, this is an inline filter mm -hmm. that you got at Brewer's Hardware. Well, it, they sell them on Brewer's Hardware, but I got this on the Homebrew Network right. Classified. So, yeah. anybody who hasn't checked that place out, give it a, a check because you can get good deals like this. And uh, I can see why you got it too because it's uh, tri clover fittings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's really shiny. <laughs> you want to open her up? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you're right, it is really shiny. I like shiny stuff. I do too. So, the purpose of this thing is filtration. So it has this cool thing in the center. So what you do is you hook it in line when you're transferring. The flow goes this way. All the little particles get trapped inside here. Then you have clear wort coming out of the top. So what we're going to use this for is we're going to attach it in between the mash tun and the boil kettle. So that way we'll trap any little loose pieces of grain or whatever because you don't want that stuff making its way into the boil because then you extract tannins and harshness, astringencies, etc. You get some off flavors and then everything's bad. Mm -hmm. But then more importantly, we will use this also on the way in between the kettle and the chiller. So that way we don't get any little hot particles and stuff trapped inside the chiller. Mm -hmm. So clear work making its way into the fermenter. But then you also throw this guy on top of it as yes. a just in case. Exactly. Because we don't just want clear beer, we want extra clear beer. Very clear. So yeah, that just goes right on there. Mm, get on there. I don't think I've had a man do this for me before. All right, I need to use both hands for this. Yeah, that's true. Uh. It's always tougher than it looks, right? <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> we are now protected. Yeah, yeah we are. So, uh, yeah, what do you say we go give her a whirl? We should, but before we go, do we want to show an up-close view of what oh, this thing looks like, maybe? Uh, with, <laughs> with the sheath on, and then we'll take the sheath off, okay. so you can get an idea of... Oh. Uh, there we go. Okay. Look at them tiny holes. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's go put this bad boy to use. Alright. Well, here we go again. Yeah, we're back. Uh, we got it hooked up as you can see. Uh, you can see that the rims tube stops here, and then here's the actual filter unit, the inline filter. Mm -hmm. It is inline. It is inline. Yep, so we're basically going to go from the mash tun through the rims tube, stack this on top, and we're going to fill the kettle. So there might be a couple little particles of grain and husk material floating through here, but this guy is going to stop it. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to see how, how clear this is going to be. Yep, yeah, let's give her a go. Turn this on. Keep in mind though, this is a heifer that we're doing. <laughs> we didn't say that originally, but this is a heifer. So can you zoom in on this, Julie? And you can see there's a couple little teeny particles flowing through there. But we have this though. We're not going to get them in the kettle. We're not going to boil them. We're not going to extract any tannins. No, because we got the filter and then we wrap that filter with another filter. <laughs> what do you think, Professor? I don't know. Let's uh, check back when we're done filling the kettle. All right, we're at our volume. Let's uh, shut the pump off and see what we get. All right. So as I open this up, you want to watch inside that side glass. And those are all the particles that were kept from making their way into the kettle. Hmm. That's quite a lot. That is a lot. Look at that. It's just. It's just raining. Raining wheat. <laughs> oh my gosh, look Oof. at that. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's uh, disassemble this and uh, we'll take a look and see what, what it looks like inside. Oh, it's still kind of hot though. Yeah. Here, maybe we'll wait for it to cool down and then we'll open it up and see what we have. Well, I can finally touch this with my hands without getting burnt. 
Let's open it up. Yeah. Let's see can, what this thing did. Can peek in here. I don't know if you can see that. There's not really much in there. A little bit of foam. But I'm curious to see if there are any particles left. Mm. And it's pretty clean. Yeah, it is. A little bit of stuff right up along here. But yeah, I think it just blocked all those particles, and that's what we saw back falling down. back down. Yeah. Yeah, you thought, I, I would think that would, like it would have some stuck to it, but yeah, just a couple little teeny pieces. But yeah, all in all, it's pretty clean. But um, I bet on the way from the kettle to the chiller, when we do that after the boil, I bet that's going to have a bunch of stuff stuck on here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll see you in a minute. All right, we're back. Oh, we are indeed. Yes. We're about to transfer from the boil, the chiller, mm -hmm. to these bad boys. Yeah, but we're going to go in line through our filter. So you see, we've hooked it up on the post, on the out of the pump. So it's going to come straight from the kettle, through the filter, and then the chiller. So hopefully we won't get any little hot particles and whatnot stuck in here, because you know this is the first thing. This is the first thing the, the work touches really after it falls below 212 degrees. So this is the spot where it's starting to become susceptible to bacteria and funkiness and spoilage. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that this guy stays clean and hopefully that'll help us do that. I'm really interested to see if this makes it any clearer. Yes. Because we're dealing, uh, we're dealing with a half device, so it's gonna be a wheat beer. And this is a 50-50 yeah. grist. Yep. So it should be still pretty hazy. Yeah, we're not really concerned about clarity, you know, like uh, the opposite of haziness. We're really just concerned about big chunks yep. staying out. Exactly. Yeah, so let's give her a roll. You want to turn that pump on, please? Oh, yeah. You ready? Yes, sir. Doesn't that have to be open? It does have to be open. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this puppy. We just got done transferring to the fermenters. Oh yeah, look at that. A lot dirtier than uh, when you transferred from the mash. Yeah, but not uh, all the big chunks of hops and stuff I expected on there. No. But that's good. Uh, there's, there's nothing in there. Yeah. I think a big part of the reason why is that we whirlpooled first. So I don't know if you want to creep up here. We can show you a picture of that. Yep, so that's all the stuff that could have been going through the system, but it didn't. No, it did not. Yep, so every little bit helps. We used our magic powers. Doing this. <laughs> Until next time, catch you later. Cheers. Cheers.